Okay, so let's take a little tour of the Jupyter Lab and the Jupyter Notebook just to get uh, oriented so that we can see how, uh, how it can be used to do uh, calculations, but also how it can be used to document your calculations. So um, when you start your uh, Jupyter Lab process, um, I'm going to. You probably launched it from the Anaconda Navigator, as we showed in the um, in the video for setting up Jupiter. Um, so you should um, end up in a situation that looks like this. You'll notice that I've created a directory called Math 3094, and the test notebook that I created when I installed the software is still there. Uh, this is the launcher page. It's possible that when you start it, it'll open with the notebook already open, but you may also get this launcher page. Yours may not look quite as complicated as mine um, because I have various other software installed here. But um, if you get the launcher page, then what we want to do is start a notebook with the Python 3 um, kernel running in it. Or you can just go directly to your old test notebook and double click on that and open it. And um, you should end up with the notebook that looks like this. Now, as I mentioned before, um, the Jupyter Notebook is made up of cells, and there are two kinds of cells. There are code cells, and a code cell, when you type something into the code cell, like a calculation, like 30 times 20, and you hit Shift-Enter, it does that calculation. But the other kind of cell um, is called a markdown cell, and you can turn a, a code cell into a markdown cell either by clicking here on the left and choosing markdown from up above to make it a markdown cell. You notice that the, the prompts disappear. Or you can click outside of the cell here and hit M, and that will turn it into a markdown cell. And in a markdown cell, you can just type. And you can use it to um, record documentation or otherwise explain what's going on. And uh, you can just type with text like that, but there is some formatting which is available to you. Uh, you can create headings. Those are done with number signs or pound signs. So this is a big heading. This is a subheading, and this is a sub-subheading. You can create lists using a, line, a little dash like that. First item, second item, third item, and um, you can put things into boldface or italics by using asterisks. Two asterisks makes it bold. And uh, as you can see here, I mean, it's given you some preview, but when you hit shift enter to close the cell, it actually formats the markdown that you've used. And you'll notice that this, it goes back to being a code cell. So if you wanted to continue writing markdown, you, which I do, you would hit M again, whoops. And if that happens, you click outside the cell, hit M, oh dear. And uh, now we have another markdown cell. And the one other thing that I wanted to show is for those of you that have learned tech or LaTeX, you can include LaTeX in markdown cells and therefore you can enter mathematics into your notebook. These are just some random things. It's not supposed to mean anything. But if you hit Shift Enter, you will notice that um, it uh, it renders what's between dollar signs into math. 
so you can um, also make use of math symbols. If you want to go back and adjust it, if you click it, double click in the cell, it reopens it and you could put more in or change what you've typed. For instance, I could include an integral like this. And just like in regular um, tech, if you use double dollar signs, it does a display. So um, uh, using um, using the, in, the so far this isn't very uh, yeah I haven't shown you much about actually doing any calculations, but I have shown you now how you can. Um, actually use the notebook to write. And when you've done that, you can save it. And um, if you go back here to file, you can export your notebook in various formats, including, for example, PDF. And if you do that, you export it in PDF, um, it, it will create a PDF file. And the PDF file is a nicely formatted version of your, um, whoops, where did it go? a nicely formatted version of your notebook. So um, what makes people like these notebooks is that they're a combination of a place where you can do calculations like 30 times 20 or whatever, and a place where you can include text to document what you're doing. So I will um, stop this discussion here and then in my next video, continue the tour by looking a little more closely at the um, code cells.